Hi, my name is Rick Snyder and I'd like to welcome you to Physics 100 and Introduction to Astronomy. Uh, I look forward to a great semester where I get to share with you my knowledge of the solar system, the universe, and all the laws that govern it. Uh, the primary purpose of this video is to introduce you to myself and to kind of give you some background on the course on how you can navigate through it and what you need to have to have successful completion of the course. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get going on here. Okay, let me size that up. All right, well, first of all, I just wanted to kind of see who your instructor is. Uh, again, my name is Rick Snyder, and I've been adjunct faculty at OTC now for, this is my actual 10th year, 10th year of doing uh, adjunct faculty at OTC. I've been primarily a seated instructor for PHY 110, an introduction to geology, but more recently I've actually started uh, teaching more of the PHY 100's introduction to astronomy. Uh, this is my first semester teaching a intro to astronomy online. Uh, last semester was my first semester teaching an intro to geology online. Uh, I am teaching both of those courses right now uh, in an online setting and I'll be honest at first I was kind of hesitant about it but I'm really starting to enjoy it. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to progress through I'm going to introduce myself I wanted you to get you know like an image or just see who your instructor is. Um, naturally I look like this uh, because of course I am getting older now and that wonderful thing called age is now requiring the good old reading glasses. But uh, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start going through the course here and kind of seeing what's what's required of you to have successful successful completion. Okay, let me downsize that. All right. Uh, again, as you can see here, I am an uh, intro to geology teacher as well. Uh, I've been doing this for uh, quite a long time. Uh, with that, by day, I will tell you uh, my normal job is I am I'm a high school teacher. I teach, it here, I teach here at Kickapoo High School in Springfield, Missouri, uh, for those of you that not, are not from the area. Uh, I've been teaching there for 15 years. Uh, with that, with those 15 years, I've had great success. Uh, all my courses through Kickapoo are dual enrolled for college credit, so I do meet the requirements and everything uh, for that, which you'll see in my qualifications next. Um, with this, as you can see, I am an avid traveler. I do love to travel and see the outdoors. Uh, I do like things like hiking and camping, really enjoy hiking. Uh, I've picked up recently uh, some trail running events where I start to run races for trail running. But other than that, uh, I just really like the outdoors. Uh, with the travel, most of my travel nowadays is I, common, I consistently go to Mexico. Uh, that is not for outdoor hiking, that is for relaxation. But, you know, of course, I have traveled to Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, uh, Beringer Crater, as you can see there in the upper right hand corner. Uh, I've been down to Houston, Texas. Um, I've, I've kind of traveled all over. I've been very fortunate. I've been travel. I've traveled frequently outside of the country as well. Uh, I did 10 years in the United States Navy before I went back to college and got my degree. Um, so I've, I've been fortunate enough to actually travel around around the world and see some great spots. Okay, uh, throughout the course I may actually be sharing some of my stories of where I've been and what I've done, of course related to the science of astronomy. Okay, uh, some of the things you can see here are my qualifications, just to let you know that you just don't have some normal everyday high school teacher that's filling in. Uh, with this I do have a Bachelor's of Arts in Secondary Ed from of in Earth and Space Science from the University of Wyoming. Uh, it is a great university that has prepared me to teach not only at the high school level, but because of the requirements there, uh, I, I am certified to teach at the collegiate level. Uh, with that, uh, I have picked up my master's in secondary education from Missouri State. That master's is in earth science. Uh, so as, I've, uh, as I mentioned before, I have 15 years in Springfield Public Schools teaching earth science, earth science honors, astronomy, meteorology, all dual enrolled. Now I'm also picking up physics first, forensics, and I do teach you science, research, and design. 
Uh, I do currently teach the astronomy and geology at Ozarks Technical Community College, of course, right now that I am your instructor. Just found out the other day that I was your instructor for this course. Um, I have also taught at Missouri State as well as Drury University here in town. Okay, so with those qualifications, I will tell you I've, I'm, I'm, I'm an avid learner, so I do have extensive background knowledge in the stuff that I'm going to be teaching you. So with that, uh, one of my things that I do like to always share is I do like to say that, you know, I, I have research. Okay, these are my scientific research interests. Uh, first of all, you can see down there at the bottom, one of the first things that I did was integrating college level research into the high school curriculum. Well, with that, what I was doing is, is I was trying, to, I, I tried to integrate research, collegiate level research. And uh, all of the ones that you see above here, ground pending draining uh, images of Wobblo impact site, uh, GPR images of Haviland, primary craters from uh, boulder diameter, crater diameter radios, and stratified ejecta boulders. These were done with students, with high school students. Of those four, all four have gone on for national recognition, and two have actually been published in scientific journals, the top two there. Um, the theory on the origin of stratified ejecta boulders on the lunar surface, uh, we currently have the, the accepted theory of the origins of these. So I do actual scientific research. Uh, like I said, I'm not just a high school teacher. So if you have any questions about any of those things, I'll be more than happy to, you know, give you the background articles on them and give you some discussion on them. Okay. All right. So what do you actually need? Well, the first thing that you're going to need, of course, is your textbook. Um, the textbook that you see over here is the Essential Cosmic Perspective. Uh, that will be the seventh edition that is available at the OTC bookstore. Uh, very, very important that you have the textbook because with astronomy, the background reading is very important. As you can see there in the center, you're going to have the Mastering Astronomy um, Student Access Code Card as well. Uh, if you buy your textbook new, that will come with it. And you will have to have the Mastering Astronomy Access. Um, for every week, you will have a Mastering Astronomy lesson that is going to be worth 10 points, and we'll go over how you can access all those things. Okay? And last but not least, what you're going to need is the SkyGazer 5.0. SkyGazer 5.0 is a computer simulation program, which we'll be going over here shortly on how you can actually set it up and what you need to do to, um, to get it installed on your computer. Almost all the labs that we're going to be completing in astronomy are going to be from SkyGazer 5.0. Okay, so first of all, the textbook. As you can see here, I have an extensive writing on this, but what I want you to see is and understand is it is essential that you read the actual test textbook really before you start the lessons, okay? So because what's going to happen is, is students often think that if the material is not covered in lecture, then it's not important. Well, that's not true. A lot of the things that you're going to learn, uh, you're going to be learning on your own, especially in an online setting. And you're going to be learning it on your own from uh, the textbook. So uh, a lot of the questions that I get, you can see if you go through and like look at the, the questions towards the back, I will give some hints on things of what you can look at and exactly what you need to be doing. Um, but it is very important that you actually do the assigned reading. So keep that in mind as you're going throughout the course to, to go through and, and read this textbook. I will tell you that they have changed from the cosmic perspective to the essential cosmic perspective. And the primary reason for that is, is we felt like this is an introductory course and you don't need the extensive math that the cosmic perspective gave. So the essential cosmic perspective is basically just the essential things that you need for an intro to astronomy course. Okay, next thing I want you to realize is you do have to read the syllabus. The syllabus is of the utmost importance. It has everything in it. Now, I will tell you honestly, I there are times whenever I'm like, oops, I totally forgot that in the syllabus. Uh, I cannot make a change to the syllabus. I do have that right to make a change, but I cannot make that change um, until I inform you of that change. Okay, 
So I've because this was a rush, there may be some mistakes in the astronomy syllabus. I am going to go back through and check it. But um, right now, please go through the syllabus as is. Uh, what I'll do now is we'll kind of X out of this real quick. And we'll go ahead and we'll go straight to um, how you actually get to the syllabus. All right. Of course, I've got mine in student mode right now. So this is exactly how you're going to see yours. Uh, the page that's going to come up is, the, of course, the announcements page. And what you want to do is you want to go right up here, click that syllabus button. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the provided syllabus uh, right there as a Word document, as a PDF document. And right there is the actual course schedule as well. Okay, so with that, everything going down through here, <coughs> excuse me, please make sure that you've actually read over this and you can see what all is going on. Uh, there's your point distribution, there's all that. And so whenever you start looking at things like that, you've got to make sure that you understand what is required of you and the syllabus is going to be the one that explains that. While we're here, we'll go ahead and see how you guys can access all the lessons. That's going to be right through here. Okay. With the lessons, you'll basically click Unit 1, and then you're going to see these boxes come up. You'll have Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3. Every lesson that is under Unit 1 will be in here. Okay. So then you just simply click that, and that you've opened this folder, and you'll go down through. There you can see that you're required to read the syllabus. Uh, this is one of your first um, activities or for an actual grade is the forum introductions. You'll click on that and you'll see how that actually works. Make sure you read all the material that's right here first. Uh, the lecture and reading materials are going to be underneath this folder. Uh, so what you'll do is click that. And right now there's currently no content under there. I'm going to be updating that. Of course, it's going to be read lesson one. Let's go back. Uh, there you can see the Mastering Astronomy. Now, whenever you go to the Mastering Astronomy site, here's what will happen, is you'll click that, and then, of course, you'll come to this sign-in page. Well, you'll sign in, and you'll complete it, okay? So you'll sign in there, go to the actual page, you'll see Lesson 1, Introduction, uh, you'll see them updated every time, and then you'll come back here, and all you'll do is you'll click that button, it is worth 10 points, and what you're going to do is you'll click the submit button up here. And whenever you click that submit button, it'll ask the assignment is blank and no files are attached. Do you want it? Well, let's scroll down here. Add comments in the comment box. This assignment is complete and ready for, oops, ready for grading. And then you just simply click Submit and say Yes. Okay? So whenever you don't have anything to attach to it, that's all you have to do. This assignment is complete and ready for grading. Because what that allows me to do is allows me to go in to your gradebook as well to the Mastering Astronomy site. And from there, we'll be able, I'll be able to grade it and input your grades. Okay? So let's go back. And, of course, here... Uh, something that you're going to see, a lot of our discussions are going to be around videos. So you'll always have a video that is available to you, or in this case of this first week, your discussion forum is basically your introduction. So what you can do is watch this video. This video talks about scales and talks about distances in the universe, uh, how big things are, sizes, and your goal is to be able to differentiate the sizes of everything. Okay? All right. Uh, and last but not least is right here. This is one of the things, this is your first lab. Uh, you'll notice that the lab is right there. You're going to be able to download that lab, of course. And what you end up doing is, is whenever you download the lab, you're going to notice that whenever we go to complete them, uh, let's give it a second here. Uh, I do submit everything in micro, Microsoft Word. Uh, so with that, make sure you have some, some way to do that. Let's go ahead and enable editing. And for the first unit, what you'll do here is you'll go through and you'll progress through the actual lab. One thing I can show you is one thing I always like to do to mine is I go to view, zoom. I like to put mine at 150 and that way it allows me to zoom through 
and this is your first lab so you'll read it you'll progress through progress through and then you'll see these boxes eventually here we go where it says tap here to enter text and all you have to do is start typing now if one thing you could do is please change the color of the font you could change it to red I would prefer blue like a light blue right there and then that way you can actually do it okay so and then what you'll do is you'll say file you'll go to file and then you'll save that document to your desktop or some folder that you want to keep it in after you're done doing that I'm not going to save uh, after you're done doing that you'll come back here what you'll do is you'll go down here to attachments and you're going to add comments add comments browse my computer attach file browse my computer wherever you saved it that's where you're going to attach it and then this file this lab is completed and ready for grading and then you'll hit submit okay so that's pretty much how you navigate through blackboard trying to get to all the lessons uh, the discussions as I mentioned before you do have discussions the first one is an introduction typically what will happen is is you've got you always have lesson 1.2 what it'll do is it will link you right to it so now all you have to do there is create a thread okay yep I've already got three already posted that's outstanding um, so what you end up doing is is you end up posting your thread there and you can actually look over a lot of the other students to kind of you may you know maybe even reply and you know just say hey or something like that okay so that's how we actually navigate through blackboard now one thing that you're going to notice is every week you're going to have things where you're going to have a discussion forum a mastering astronomy assignment and a lab okay so that's the three common assignments that you're always going to have and I'm pretty consistent on that uh, whenever we get to exams of course I'll give you guys some reviews I'll give you some other things um, right now I, I don't plan on sprinkling quizzes in there uh, but what I can do is give quizzes as kind of practice uh, we'll look at that later to once we get going on the course okay so give me some time to get something like that figured out okay let's go ahead and go back all right so we've navigated blackboard next thing let's go ahead and look at skygazer 5.0 and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do here all right uh, with skygazer I am going to I've basically downloaded this already here's the first thing that you want to do uh, what it does is it talks about setting your location well one of the first things you want to do is just simply click the map now with clicking the map please scroll down and you are going to find Springfield Missouri now for a lot of the activities we're going to focus on Springfield Missouri uh, if you are not from Springfield you're from another location you can actually see on here there's several selections so if your city pops up uh, please you can go ahead and select that I can grade it from there or I will tell you in the instructions to set it specifically to Springfield Missouri okay so for the first few we're going to be setting it at Springfield so that you can kind of see some relationships of things um, but if your city is not on here then of course you choose the closest city unfortunately uh, you cannot add one to this okay so there's how you do that and then the rest of it is going to be an online you, your activities will you know they are very descriptive they'll show you how to progress through skygazer 5.0 so but that's the first thing that I wanted to show you okay let's X out of that all right other than that that's pretty much all I have for you uh, again I'd like to welcome you to five part to 5.0 I would like to welcome you to physics 100 I hope it's a great semester um, please you can see something called ask the class on the discussion board if you have any questions don't hesitate to email me uh, if it's a personal question if it's a general question please use ask the class that way we don't necessarily have a bunch of repeat of questions and everything uh, as for checking my email uh, I do try to check the email 
every day through OTC. Again, I do work during the day as a high school teacher. So please, you know, kind of give me some time to respond to that. But other than that, uh, I hope you have a great semester and that's all I have for you now. Have a great week.